Using Staplet.com, discrete random variables, and some calculations with a handheld calculator or Desmos, we can quickly find the expected value for games of chance or insurance problems and anything involving a dollar amount. And these we would think of as prof expected profit or loss, or even a better term would be the average profit or loss over repeated trials or repetitions of the same scenario again and again. We call that long run behavior. With raffles, you could actually equate it to averaging out every participant's profit. Many people lose money. One or a small number of people win money. Averaging it all out would be the same as the expected value. But instead of counting how many people, we're using probability instead. Here the variable name you can call profit for these problems. For our values, these are going to be amounts, uh, dollar amounts, either profits or losses. Now, we need to look at the payout and, sub and uh, subtract the cost from the payout. So if there's no payout, you're taking zero minus four. That's a minus negative four dollar profit. And usually what you're going to have a whole bunch of people, the vast majority of people, who are just losing what they paid, and that is a loss. And then uh, we are seeing that there's 190 tickets sold and only one winner. So that's 189 out of 190. We can't really put fractions in here. So I'm going to do that calculation using a Desmos scientific calculator. And keeping four digits of accuracy, um, we got 0.9947 for that. Now these need to add up to one, and so I need the remaining probability, which is 0, 0, 0053. I'm just taking 9947 from one. So that's the one winner. Very, very small um, odds for winning this raffle. And the winner has $76 of winnings minus the $4 cost to play is only a $72 profit. And we've got a, a graph which doesn't really help us a lot in this scenario. Biggest thing is that we see average is a $3 and almost $3.60 loss per person. So they are really not paying out very much compared to how much money they brought in. Another way you could look at this is they sold 190 tickets at $4 a piece. 190 times 4 is uh, $760 that they brought in and they only paid out 10% of it. So that's really not a very fair game for the participants. Um, like I said, average of $3.60 loss per player. Uh, another version of this kind of problem is the insurance problem. Um, you see variations of this. Um, here we're thinking of it from the standing point of the person buying the insurance. And so to profit is maybe not the best word. Um, I think it still does technically apply. Um, if you pay into an insurance policy and you do not claim it, you are spending money that is a negative profit. It's not exactly a loss. It's just a cost um, for the policy. Um, and then if you end up having to utilize the policy, if you pass away, this is in one year, it's a very small probability to pass away in the first year of it, or in the in one of the years of its maybe a 10 year policy. So in one year, we're gonna look at uh, if you did get that payout, that is a, a large profit over the cost. So the, it would be a net gain in dollars for the family that would be receiving that benefit. So here we have our two values, minus 270 for one year of the policy, or we're saying in that year, 100,000 minus 270 for the payout gives us $99,730. And we have our probabilities as percentages. We need to change those to decimals. The payout happens with uh, dying in that next year. That's the very small percent. So we need two more zeros in front of that. And then the uh, complement, so we subtract that from 1 to get the remaining percentage, and that's 99755. And I have five decimals here. I don't know if it will allow. I'll give it a shot. 
So we see the two outcomes. So keep in mind the vast majority of people spend $270 a year and they never get a dollar back from it. But because of that small number of people who are getting that benefit, um, it averages out to $25 per person. And you could think of it as uh, everybody that doesn't claim it is, uh, is paying out both the insurance company and the, those benefits that are going to others. So um, on average, there is a loss for the individual um, and the insurance company is actually going to profit on average because that is their business model.